Hey guys, today I'm reviewing my Suzuki Bergman 400. This is a 2004. It had about 12,000 miles when I bought it 18 months ago, and now I'm pushing 40,000 miles. I think I'm like two or 300 away from it. As you guys can tell, this bike is in rough shape. I mean, yesterday my whole back end started falling off, so I taped it up. I mean, I don't know. Couldn't figure out how to get it to stay on there. It seems like the clips or something broke. The exhaust is all types of messed up. The whole right side of the bike got pretty messed up. I went down at about 50 miles an hour. And so it's looking real rough. But right after I put it, this $150 windscreen on there is when I went down. So that's why that's like that and it's never getting fixed because I'm not spending $150 on another one of these windscreens. At least not for this bike. And this bike it's done pretty good I had to do a lot of repairs that i don't believe would have been necessary if it was stored well before i bought it this thing came with the panels all already zip tied together and looking real bad like in the middle here it just wasn't stored well so if you guys are looking into buying one of these make sure you get one from like an old guy that took it on a few road trips there's plenty of these for sale everywhere you can get some pretty good deals on them i do think these these 400s and the 650 versions are great bikes, really reliable. Just make sure they were maintained before you buy them. If you guys are here from my first ride video, which has been doing pretty well, it's gotten about 3,000 views now, and most of them have been from the last couple months. First thing I think any of you will notice is this windscreen. Like I mentioned, I spent 150 on it because the original one was only like this big, and you couldn't even see through it. It was disgusting. I'll play a clip right now of it. I got endless comments about that though. <laughs> One thing I do love a lot about this bike is look how much room this thing has. Like I have this whole backpack. I do Uber Eats on this. That's why I got this in here. It's the whole reason I got this bike was to continue doing like Uber Eats and DoorDash. This bike even has an under the seat light, which mine quit working a while ago. Probably never gonna fix that, but you know, got plenty of room in here. This bike's actually pretty big. I am six foot one, 320 plus pounds, and I sit right here, and my back just goes straight up. I've literally had a dude like 200 pounds sit back here. I've taken him from where I live to like 10 miles to his job a bunch of times. So this bike can handle a lot of weight, and it still runs fine. Like this thing moves for what it is. I'm gonna be honest. This is a fully automatic scooter, and this thing moves. It's not the most powerful or fastest thing on earth but it's a lot of fun, fully automatic 400. Uh, if I've missed anything, I'll talk about it at the end of the video, but I'm gonna go ahead and ride this thing and show you guys what it can do. My GPS on the GoPro, I just can't manage to get working. I've been trying for an hour now. So I'm gonna use an app on my phone and I'll screen record it and overlay it on the video if I have to. But yeah, let's go ahead, get on this bike. So sit down big really comfortable bike this bike is huge like i said i'm six foot one and look i can just put my feet right here i'm chilling like i said i ride this bike for four to six hours a day doing uber eats and doordash so i've spent tons of time on this thing idles pretty nice um you get some storage space up here i got some sunglasses and stuff in here storage space on this side you get a whole dashboard your battery is in there you guys are probably wondering what this cord is it is my airbag vest i went down wearing it I'll, I'll put a link to it on amazon when i went down going 50 on this bike um kind of just went off this side and slid guys so i've been trying to get like an accurate uh reading on the speed i can't find any speed apps that are like good my gopro gps just won't work it says i have the location pinged in but when i go to edit the videos it just doesn't show up so i'm going to try this app this gps race timer i'm just going to screen record my phone and overlay it i can sit here and reset this real quick we're going to do the zero to 60.
expect from the engine braking it'll get you going pretty slow but you're definitely gonna have to brake a lot but at the same time remember i'm six foot one 320 plus pounds the bike itself is like 400 something pounds so it's a lot of weight for this little motor but it, it's working 18.8 second quarter mile i mean i can't even be mad at that so you can actually do like super low u-turns like that like. <laughs> all right guys we are gonna head for the highway we're gonna go up above those big bridges i don't know if the gopro can see it yet this is a landfill this is disgusting but you know this there Lane splitting on this thing, you can do that. Look at that. Yeah, nice and close to cars. This isn't a very wide bike. It's wide, but it's not like it's not like gold wing wide. Alright, zero to sixty. End quarter mile too. Got them both recording. You guys heard that? fun bike honestly it's fun going fast on this thing because how small it is and what it is but it's also you know you get like 45 at least i've been getting about 45 miles a gallon on this thing that's one thing i know i haven't talked about um we'll get pretty straight right here reset that to do was like a braking test like you know how quick you could brake but I'm not trying to do like that in depth of a review I'm just kind of you know just talking about stuff I like about it and showing you guys the performance and stuff but I mean overall my experience with this bike has been pretty good I mean I enjoy this bike I want the 650 of it if I'm gonna be honest 
the 400 has more power than you really need like like if you're just riding around a city and stuff you don't really need a crazy amount of power but obviously people love having power with bikes i wouldn't mind some more power uh more speed and stuff but you know it is what it is i enjoy this bike i think for the price and what it is it's a great bike all right so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed like i said just let me know if you guys want to know anything else um, i'm gonna be trying to upload some more videos probably just random videos of me talking while i'm riding i'm gonna try to get the audio a little better maybe but yes thanks for watching guys hit like subscribe if you didn't like it hit dislike i don't really care i enjoyed making the video so hope you guys enjoyed it